All right. So uh, these guys are going for next to nothing. Well, not quite next to nothing, but you can get a pretty good deal on these gift bundles if you can find them. Um, TCG player has them around 48, but if you can get them 40 or under, it's not a bad deal. And uh, I had the opportunity to get some of these pretty cheap. I mean, granted, this isn't the best set, and uh, you only get 10 packs, but you do get a collector booster. And uh, if you can pay 35, 37, I mean, that, again, you're shipping, so it depends what your situation is. It's a pretty good deal. Not only that, but look at this. Isn't this sweet? This is like a holographic box. So as opposed to like what you typically get, I think that's kind of cool. All right. Ooh, and then here are the oversized dungeon cards. It's kind of sweet. All right. And a cool poster. All right, well, let's just uh, let's get to it. There is a little poster on the inside of this, but I don't want to break it yet because I'm going to store this thing in it. All right, I'm excited to see the spin down. This is what I anticipate to be the coolest part. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Can you see that with the little... Wow, that's actually amazing. Look at this. Blue, purple. See, this is why you go for the gift bundle. Oh, they still did the, the two-pack. So you got the, the treasure chest here, the promo, all art. And then these are the non-foil planes. These are the foil planes. Here we have the reference cards. All right, let's just get to it. So you get uh, 10 draft boosters. All right. And then one gorgeous collector booster. All right. So we'll save this guy for last. I think that makes sense, right? Alrighty. I actually have not opened anything from this set, so. Like old knobbone. I mean I know what the good ones are. Um, yeah, old knobbone's obviously the number one. That's the card you want. Oh yeah, it's a draft booster, so. It's a little less exciting in terms of the open. I do not know if there are any other sort of good commons or uncommons. Honestly, I basically know about old old knobbone. If it's not old knobbone, then I'm gonna I'm at a loss. I can't believe this set didn't do better. Uh, I mean, I like the Dungeons and Dragons sort of. Yeah, it's a t it's a video for another day. This and Baldur's Gate, right? A one, a two, and oh my god! <laughs> you kidding me? You kidding me, guys? Pack one, we get Tiamat. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, this card was worth more until they reprinted it, but it is still. I mean, it is still a monster of a card. Well, that's it, guys. I think I don't need to open any more. Holy crap. All right, well, let's see what else we have. Okay, I don't think tokens are worth anything, but I always, you know, with Belgium, you never know. But uh, no, no, this is well cut. There's nothing wrong with this. This is mint. You know what, there is the tiniest little cut mark. Can it focus? It's still, I, I think I would still consider this mint. Certainly near mint plus. Sometimes it's unsure, but. <sighs> all right, all right, that's sweet. Very happy with that. What a start. You know, I'm just gonna put this right into the hard shell and then uh, maybe we can call it, take a quick break. Wow, pack one. I'll do it after. Thanks for watching. Well, thought I'd open one or two more packs. Also, in the meantime, I checked out some of the commons, uncommons, and uh, this set doesn't have a whole lot of depth. But what it does have is a couple commons worth a dollar or more. You don't see that in a lot of sets. So, you know, I thought I may as well start a little hits pile and, uh, you know, with this this common unexpected windfall worth a dollar but of course this was the beauty we pulled in the first pack 
that's going to be hard to replicate. My experience of bundle yields no more really than two. The older bundles seem to be a lot more sporadic, but these new ones, it seems like they're treating like booster boxes. So we're looking for Deadly Dispute or Fane's Death in the common slot. I kind of like that. I kind of like something to... Oh, that's cool. The uh, sort of the showcase. I like having something to look out for in the common slot. Here it's like the different classes and the uncommon that you want. I'm sure you guys have opened this. I'm sorry, this is my first time. Ooh, we got a foil. The rare is Adult Gold Dragon. Nice. I think that's a pretty good one. Um, nice, nice, nice. I, I could be mistaken. It's tough with some of these dragons. And a foil uncommon. And it may be a class, barbarian class. All right, I don't know. I don't know if that's the big one, but... Uh, but I'm gonna, I'll definitely, um, definitely sleeve it up. Nice. All right, and the mountain, and another one of these map cards. All right, do one more. I'll have the sack and start this again tomorrow. Come on, hold on, run. In the States, I've seen some of these sell for like a draft box, like $77, which is pretty uh, crazy. Sorry if the light isn't so good. Oh, still commons. Now I'm used to the set boosters, where they only have like one or two commons. All right. And boom! Oh, Hand of Vecna. I don't think that's a, I think that's kind of a bulk, bulk card. And then behind that, Island and Fairy Dragon. That's cool. I don't know if any of the tokens have value. All right, I lied. Let's do one more. And, you know, I hate to, like, promote anything in case I sell stuff like this, but look at how awesome this guy is. It's, like, hard to capture the multicolor... I don't know. Gift bundle die, that's where it's at. Alright, I'll do one more, and then I'll save the six and the collector's pack for tomorrow. Again, feign death or something, I think deadly dispute. Is it? There it is, deadly dispute. What do you know? Man, I love this. This is so exciting to have common hits. Um, you know, Kamigawa doesn't have that. They have Tameo Safekeeping. I think that's it. All right. Here we go. A one. Oh, I like that. Like, super short name. A two. A rare, and that rare is... Paul the Storm Giants. It could be something. I don't know how to land. Oop, nope. Oh, now I got everything messed up. That's where the uncommons go. And swamp. All right. Well, I'll be sure to uh, check this card out. It looks promising, but uh, beautiful artwork too, huh? But I'll just throw it in the sleeve for now to be safe. All right. Until tomorrow. Before we get into Collector's Booster, I have to make one more correction. This is just nuts. Every pack we had like a middle, you know, good hit. And this was one of them. And I missed it. So, uh, if you're buying this card from me and you're watching this, I apologize that I did not recognize this was a good card um, immediately. Again, I don't know this set so well. But uh, there we go. Alright, so we only got one Mythic from the the regular boosters. Let's hope the other mythic is in here. Or if there is another mythic, let's hope it's in here. Never actually opened one of these. 
I don't even know the distribution of rares and commons. So I'm gonna open all of it very slowly. Wow. All nice, shiny. There we go. And in addition to that, um, you know, they, they aren't curled at all. Well, the, that's a little curled. Be nice to get a Fane Death or something in these slots. Uh, or um, Deadly Dispute. Okay, already at the uncommons. Wizard class. This is a good uncommon, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, what a good way to start this off. Alright. Put a separate little pile for these. So I'm pretty sure this is a good one. In anticipation of that, I'm going to sleeve it. It's hard with the classes. Some really have good value, and some don't necessarily have good value. But all right, plate armor. Oh, that's a rare back there. Okay, so only one more uncommon. Now we're getting to the rares, I guess. Demolich Mythic. Nice. I don't think this is like one of the top mythics. I mean, it's foily and it looks awesome. So that's that's what matters. Okay. Oh, and a borderless behind it. Borderless rare. Midnight path lighter. Yeah. You know let me do this. You know, just to make it easy, I'm just gonna put them all in sleeves. Man, but I don't think any of these are the big ones yet. Goralic something scholar, all right. And a common, oh boy, is that it? Three rares and we're done. Manticore. Something Death Whisper and another rare, and that rare is Minion of Mighty. Okay, in the showcase. All right, and then another one of these cards. Cool, that was a lot of fun. I've never seen this one. What is this? Lair of the Hydra. It's also a rare. Oh, that's kind of a cool looking card. Dungeon module and Tomb of Annihilation and the whatever on the back. All right, well, maybe, I don't know, but maybe Minion of the Mighty was our best card in that. We'll find out here in a second. And uh, how cool are some of these? I mean, you know, this guy getting the sleeve just because. And uh, this is a pretty interesting card. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, maybe I'll be back for a summary after this. So much like the rest of this box, uh, this was just a little bit of consistent value here in these cards. Um, you know, this is maybe $3 here, not bad, $1.50, $1.50, maybe a dollar and a dollar. Um, and then we got this foil wizard class too, which has some good value. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much, and uh, you'll probably see some of these items on the store. I'll briefly go through this little deck, too. A lot of those good commons. Great card. This is, like, one of my better hits in this group. And, of course, the big gun. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching.